How to fix VMware Workstation Error Intel VTX is disabled. To fix VMware Workstation Error Intel VTX is disabled, you just need to follow that black rabbit and turn on Intel R Virtualization Technology or Intel R VTD feature in your BIOS. Step 1, check if virtualization is supported on your desktop slash laptop. Here are the detailed steps on how to check if virtualization is supported on your desktop slash laptop. 1. Open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. 2. Click on the Performance tab. 3. Under CPU, look for the Virtualization Entry. 4. If the Virtualization Entry says Enabled, then Virtualization is supported on your computer. 5. If the Virtualization Entry says Disabled, then Virtualization is not supported on your computer. Here are some additional tips for checking if virtualization is supported on your computer, asterisk you can also check if virtualization is supported on your computer by looking at the specifications of your computer. Most modern computers support virtualization. Asterisk if you are not sure if your computer supports virtualization, you can contact the manufacturer of your computer for assistance. Step 2, Enter BIOS and Step 3, Enable Virtualization. Sure, I can help you with that. Here are the steps on how to enable virtualization in Intel BIOS, 1. Turn on your computer. 2. As soon as you see the manufacturer's logo, press and hold the BIOS key. The BIOS key varies by manufacturer and model, but it is typically one of the following keys, asterisk delete asterisk F2 asterisk F10 asterisk F12 3. Keep pressing the BIOS key until you see the BIOS menu. 4. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the advanced or system configuration section of the BIOS menu. 5. Look for the setting that says Intel Virtualization Technology or VTX. 6. Change the setting to enable. 7. Press F10 to save the changes and exit the BIOS. Your computer will now restart with virtualization enabled. Here are some additional tips for enabling virtualization in Intel BIOS, asterisk if you are not sure which key to press, you can look at the manufacturer's documentation for your computer. Asterisk if you are still having trouble enabling virtualization, you can contact the manufacturer of your computer for assistance.